Welcome back. Uh, it's time to go through another tub. I haven't quite finished going through the last tub. Still got like maybe a few to, to list, but I can't help myself. I just want to open a new tub and see what's in there. A little quick update on what I've been listening to. I've been listening to a bit of Sonic Youth. I really like them a lot. I don't know why I never got in, but I do. It's just because I never had any of their stuff, but I've tried to listen to them in the past and just it never hit me, but yeah, just really enjoying it this time. A um, couple others. Roxy Music, I could take or leave. Primal Scream, pretty good. But I don't think I listen to them a lot. And Rocket from the Crypt, I actually recognised quite a few songs. So I must have listened to them when I was, I was younger. My memory just doesn't get it. Uh, but for now, let's see what's in the new tub. All right, Freshy. I haven't looked yet, but I have noticed... There's an interstellar box there, which is weird. So I'm keen to uh, see what that is. Let's get that out first. What the hell is this? Interstellar soundtrack. Why is it in this big box? What is cool as? And how the fuck do I open it? <laughs> ah. Oh wow, the fucking lights up. All right, so future Uncle Wayne here. I've uh, done a bit of research since finding this in the tub and it is so cool. It is uh, the Interstellar soundtrack in this box set uh, that, if I can figure out how to fucking open it again, <laughs> it lights up. It's crazy. I don't know how well that comes out on the camera, but it's cool as, um, it's got this, yeah, just, you can see inside, if you take that off, it's just got the, uh, batteries and the, the lights in there. Um, and it's got the double CD in there as well. Uh, so cool. Uh, very surprised when I looked it up on ebay uh there's some very interesting comps for it uh there is one listed in the world and it's listed for 700 ish dollars which i think is just crazy i don't think it will sell for that much in saying that one has sold for in the 600s it was brand new but there's other ones that sold for less um actually can't remember now <laughs> but they're in like the couple hundred range um so yeah i'm not sure what to list this for it's not sealed uh obviously it has been opened uh but yeah it's just such a cool like fine like i've never seen anything like this before for a cd like they've gone to a lot of effort to put like you gotta have double a batteries go in your cd box <laughs> so it's just cool as um yeah, I really don't know what I'm going to list it for. I might have to do... I've looked it up on Discogs. Um, cheapest one on Discogs is 130 I haven't looked into what condition those are in or anything. The highest sold on Discogs is $400. Uh, the median price is 200 So, yeah, I'm really not sure. Let me know in the comments what you guys would list this for. Or would you just keep it? Like, I'm not going to keep it. I've got a rule. I don't keep anything. But, uh, yeah, it, it is very cool. If anyone wants to buy it, hit me up, make me an offer. I might say yes. All right. It's a bit dark in here. It's hard to see. There's hard-ons. Uh, I've already sold a few hard-ons CDs. Um, I've actually already got that one listed, but this is the Digipack. I think I've got the regular one listed. Um, what else have we got here? Don't know what these are. Primus. Yes, I had this one as a teenager. I had all their albums, but this is probably the one that I listened to the most. I fucking love this band so much. Seen them live. They're incredible live. It's yeah. Um, here they come. Here come the best I heard it from. A confident they heard it from. Um, there's more. I've already listed a ton of Cradle of Filth. This tub looks like it might be... That's Bjork. 
Volcana. That's one album that I never really got into of hers. I fucking love Bjork. Um, Judder, if you're watching, get fucked. Um, don't know what that is. Yeah, this tub looks like it might be a little bit more mixed rather than um, <clears throat> sort of the other ones are more in alphabetical order. <laughs> oh my god. Um, now, Avril Lavigne, fuck, they can go on the fire, can't they? She cannot seem to save her life, but somehow she's a fucking pop star. Um, what else have we got? Gotta be some better stuff in here than that shit. Public Enemy. <laughs> yes. Love some Public Enemy. Yeah, these are all mixed up. Smiths, I've already listed a bunch of their stuff. Um, hammock. I don't know what that is. But there's another hammock here somewhere as well. this heartbreakers lame lame ass motherfucker i'm guessing that stands for um four cds four pin badges and a 44 page booklet they like the number four look at that that's pretty cool if you like the band i've never heard of them before um might have to look them up they look a bit old school. Uh, this looks like there's a few box, sort of boxy ones here. Baby King. Oh, there's this fucking Skyrim. That's a soundtrack for Skyrim. Elder Scrolls V. Oh, this was another classic that I had when I was a, a um, teenager. Hey, pig. I wanna fuck you like an animal. Everyone loves that shit. Um, don't know what that is. Slayer. Blu-ray. Repentless. Fuck, this might actually go all right. Um, sex Pistols. What is this? Oh, it's an SACD. Um, that might be worth a bit. Max Richter. Sleep. I don't know who Max Richter is. Um, that's eight CDs. Hopefully that's good. <laughs> Andre Rieu, <laughs> it's probably not worth much. Um, what else have we got here? That can't be the soundtrack. It is. Great movie. <laughs> with uh, Sam Neill. Fucking love Sam Neill. Everyone says with Lawrence Fishburne, but I always say with Sam Neill. Husker Do, I've already... Listed some Husker Do, Got a Tonya. What we go? Outcast, Elbow. Might as well pull them out. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. 80s Heroes, that's probably a. Is that a compilation? Nope an album. Alright, what do we got over this side? Let's move this shit. Alright. Dunno. Oh, that's Echo and the Bunnyman. Um, Boris Pink. No idea who that is. Don't know that. There's a lot of stuff in here that I, yeah, don't know. Oh, there's some more Roxy music, so that's good. That's one of the bands that I haven't listed yet out of the last tub. <laughs> so that's good, because I can list them all together. Um, structures from Silent, uh, Steve Roach. There's a bunch of Steve Roach in the other one that I haven't done yet. Forced. At least there's one or two of theirs already. Um, this Om Omni Trio, I don't know. Um, Pinel. Uh, 
I really, that Mazzy Star, I really need glasses bad. I can't fucking read shit. It's LL Cool J. Oh, uh, what have we got here? There's more Dandy Warhols already listed. A shitload of their stuff. Cream. Cream. Get on top. Uh. Got here, polyphonic spray. Um, new model army, silver sun pickups, there's a few of them. Um, orbital. Um, yes, that stuff sells. Uh, that's like a, uh, I don't know, what's new, it's a special one, B12, no, no idea that is. Not really seeing much else uh, that takes my fancy. This tub hasn't been one one um that's would be oh beastie boys nice hope there's more of them yeah la tango i've really listed some of that stuff um this one hasn't been one of the best tubs for my taste personally uh, but there's um jefferson airplane there's plenty of stuff here the kinks that i can list that's for sure Orbital again. I'll just leave them in there because there's heaps of them. Um, is this, you tell me in the comments, is this the greatest debut album of all time? I think it has to be right up there. Oh, fuck, I nearly dropped it. I mean, everyone knows the song Killing in the Name, but like every fucking song on this album is incredible. And. When it came out, there was nothing like it. I remember when this came out, and I remember when everyone heard Killing in the Name for the first time, there was fucking nothing like it at all. And it's just a fucking killer album. I can still just listen to it fucking all day long. So if you don't think this is the greatest debut album of all time, let me know in the comments what you do think is, because I'd be interested to know. This soundtrack is fucking awesome. I used to have this when the movie came out. And uh, I worked in the video store and I used to play this all the time in the store. Um, and, and I used to play the movie as well all the time. Robert Miles. Yeah, M People. Black Flag. That'll be a good one. Um, shit's going everywhere again. All right, I think that might be it for this one. All right, that was another interesting one. Um, I hope, like, it seemed like a bit of a, a leftovers box, to be honest. A lot of the stuff that was in there, like, there was only one Primus album, things like that. So, although I have found, I did find pork soda in an earlier uh, tub as well. So, hopefully all the rest of the Primus CDs are in one of the other tubs. Um, but, like, just because it'll be cool to find them. I love them and I love looking at them. Um, yeah, um, the prob not a lot, oh, there is a bit here that's I in my taste, um, but I did notice there's a few DJ CDs, things like that, stuff that I don't really know much about, some of that stuff, like, when I look it up, goes well, some of it doesn't, um, yeah, there's a few box sets and stuff, so I think that Slayer box set, I have no idea, but I think it will go pretty well, I'm gonna assume it's been deleted, um to blu-ray they don't really keep printing them for long um so that's just an assumption i could be totally wrong it could be available at jv for 20 bucks or something so but i'm just assuming it's gonna be an all right one so yeah pretty stoked with that tub um and i'll keep doing this so next time i get a new tub probably in a couple of days two or three days uh i'll put up another video so thanks for watching all the way through you're a bloody legend. See you on the next one. Ciao.